everyone! Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're doing another infinite series problem today. This one is, uh, the, we're given the following series. It's um, 1 minus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth squared minus um, 1 fifth cubed. And they even give us a one fourth term plus one fifth to the fourth. Um, so this is the series we're given. We are asked to uh, determine whether or not this infinite series converges or diverges, and if it does converge, to find the sum of the series. So when we're given that kind of a problem, the formula that we always use is the following. Uh, it's the sum, um, whoa, the sum of the series x to the k when the first value of k equals zero and the uh, series goes on into infinity. Um, the second part of this formula is uh, absolute value of x less than one. This is a, a, an abbreviated way to write this formula. Um, I just write these three parts down because it's the only three parts you need to remember. Um, and this is how you find uh, the sum of the series if the series does converge. So these are the three parts to our formula. The first thing that we need to do is to figure out whether or not our series, this up here, takes the form of uh, this series here, meaning we can simplify it into a series of the form x to the k. If we can, um, if it does take that form, then we need to figure out what x is because um, once we found x, then we can plug x in here. Um, if the absolute value of x is less than 1, the series converges. If it's greater than or equal to 1, the series diverges. Um, if the series does converge, then we plug x in here again um, to find the sum of the series. So that is our whole problem in a nutshell. Um, so like I said, the first thing we need to do is find out if our series takes this form here. And um, lucky for us, our series already starts with 1, meaning the first term of the series is 1. The reason that we're lucky is because when the series starts with 1, very oftentimes uh, it's a dead giveaway that the second term right here, including the sign on the term, including the negative sign, is our x term. Um, and we can very easily determine whether or not our series takes this form. So the reason that's a dead giveaway is the following. So because k, the first value of k, equals 0 and the series goes to infinity, a series of this form looks like the following. Um, x to the 0, because remember the first value of k is 0, plus x to the 1, plus x to the 2, plus x to the 3, because we're going on into infinity, right? So this series is abbreviated this way, or represented by this. So if our series takes this form, then um, our series, we should be able to write it exactly like this. Now, um, you can already see, right, we could simplify this, anything raised to the zero power is one. So the value of this term right here is one. So we're already off to a good start, and that's why I said we're lucky because um, it's oftentimes a giveaway. Our series starts with 1, and because the first value of k was 0, we plugged it into our first term here, then the first um, term in this series is 1. Then you can see we have, this is x to the 1 here. Um, so x to the 1, we can just simplify, right, to be x, uh, and then we say plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot dot dot. So you can see our series starts with 1, and then the second term here is x, which is why I said the second term is often our um, x value that we want to find here so we can plug it in into these two other parts of our um, formula. So we're going we're gonna to test this now just to make sure that we're right, even though I'm pretty sure we already are. Um, remember, you always have to include the sign, whether it's a positive or a negative. So I'm going to say that our x is negative 1 fifth which means that I'm going to plug this in down here, and I will get 
1 plus, and I said remember, negative 1 fifth, so negative 1 fifth uh, plus negative 1 fifth squared um, plus negative 1 fifth cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, so um, given that, um, let's go ahead and simplify, right? So we have 1, and then um, we have plus a negative, so we have minus 1 fifth. And then here, um, since we have a negative um, sign that's squared, um, that is just going to turn into a, a positive sign. So we'll have plus, and then the 1 fifth we can leave squared, plus 1 fifth squared. Um, we have a negative sign here that's cubed. So a negative times a negative is, is a positive, times a negative again is a negative. So we'll have minus, and then we can keep the one-fifth cubed, and then plus dot dot dot. Okay, so you can see, right, we have one minus one-fifth plus one-fifth squared minus one-fifth cubed. You can see that our series is matching up, which means that um, since these two match, our series, this series, does take this form, this, um, this abbreviation, this representation here, does represent our series, and since we guessed that x was negative one-fifth, and we, show, we proved that that, was, um, that that was correct here, we know that um, this x is negative one-fifth. So we've done the first part of our problem, and we can erase all of this, and um, we'll write down here that um, our series does take this form. It goes to infinity, first value of k is 0, and we have negative 1 fifth to the k. That is the uh, short representation of our series here. Um, so now that we've determined that the value of x is negative 1 fifth, we need to figure out whether or not the series converges or diverges by plugging negative one-fifth in here. So we have negative one-fifth, uh, the absolute value of negative one-fifth. Um, an absolute value just means that you take the positive value of whatever's inside these brackets. So since this is a negative one-fifth, the absolute value of this is simply one-fifth. <coughs> and one-fifth, right, is 0.2. Um, Yep, so 0.2, um, which is less than 1. So since 1 fifth is less than 1, that means that our series does converge. So I hope you guys can see the bottom of the board, but I'll go ahead and write converges down there. Um, the series does converge, and now since it does converge, we have to determine um, the value or the sum of the series using this formula here. Since x is negative one-fifth, um, we write one over one minus negative one-fifth. Don't forget that negative sign, it'll mess you all up if you do. So since we have minus a negative, that's the same as plus, so one-fifth. I'm going to change this one here to be five over five, right, which is the same as one, so that I can combine these two fractions here. So um, 5 fifths plus 1 fifth is uh, 6 fifths. Um, I combine those two fractions. And then 1 divided by 6 fifths is the same thing as 1 times 5 sixths. You can flip this fraction over, um, write the inverse there, and instead of 1 divided by this, you can do 1 multiplied by the inverse. So we have 1 times fifth, 5 over 6, 5 sixths, which is uh, obviously just 5 sixths. So um, that is the sum of our series, and we have uh, successfully um, completed the problem. And the answer we would write down, since it asked, asked us to determine whether or not the series converged or diverged, and if it converged to find its sum, we would write the series converges to 5 sixths. And that's your final answer. Thanks, guys!